Welcome back to another Python tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at while loops. And while loops can be used to repeat a certain section of code until some condition is met, or it can also be used to repeat code forever. Go ahead and take a look at the first case. So this is using a while loop until a certain condition is met. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set a variable called answer equal to an empty string. Next, we're going to be making our while loop. So we're going to say while answer. And we're going to use a new comparison symbol. So this is one that's going to be not equal. So the way you do not equal is the exclamation point followed by the equal sign. And we're going to say while the answer is not equal to Mike. So what we're going to do while this answer is not equal to Mike is we're going to ask the user to input my name. So what we're going to do is we're going to say answer is equal to input what is my name just like that so if we run the code what's going to happen is it's going to keep asking that question until I give it the answer of Mike so let's go ahead and take a look so what is my name if I put Bob it just repeats that question again so it asks what is my name if I put something else it's just going to keep asking that question until I finally get it give it the answer it's looking for and once I give it Mike then the loop breaks so the way this loop works, it continues to ask the question, what is my name, until the condition is satisfied. As soon as answer equals Mike, then it stops and breaks out of the loop. So that's one way you can use a while loop. You can use it to loop through a set of code until a certain condition is met. The other way you can use it is as a while true loop, which is a forever loop. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use it that way. So while we're doing this, we're also going to be making a mini game in the process. So the game we're going to be creating is a guess the number game where the computer picks a random number and then you have to try to guess it. So to get random numbers in Python, we have to import the random library. So to do that, we're going to say import and then random. So there's certain functions that are built into Python by itself and other ones that you have to include by doing imports. So random is a library that you have to import to be able to use. Okay, so what we're going to do first is have the computer pick a random number. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to define a variable. So let's just go ahead and say random number is equal to, and now we're going to be using something from this random library. So we're going to say random dot rand int. So this is for a random integer. And we're going to say pick a random integer between 1 and 10. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to start creating our while loop. So we're going to say while true. And the first thing we're going to do in this loop is ask the user to pick a number. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a variable called guess. And this is going to be equal to an integer input. So I'm going to start with int and then input. And then I'm going to say guess a number. Okay, after that I'm going to be using some conditional statements to tell the user if their guess is equal to, less than, or greater than the random number that the computer picked. Okay, so let's start with the first case. So we're going to say if guess is equal to random number. What we're going to do is we're going to print you guessed it. And then at this point, we want to stop the loop. And the way we can do that is we can write the word break. So the way this works, whenever it sees the word break, it's going to jump out of this loop. And if you had any code below this loop, it would start running that code. Okay, so we covered one of the cases if the guess is equal to the random number. The next case we're going to cover is if it's less than this random number. So if guess is less than random number, then that would mean the user needs to pick a bigger number. So we're going to print pick a bigger number. Okay, the other case, we can just put this under else. So the final case would be if it's greater than random number. And in that case, we need to print guess a smaller number. So the way our program is working is at the very top here, we're importing the random library so that we can have the computer pick a random number. Right here, we're defining a variable. And then we're using this function to have the computer pick a random number between 1 and 10. And then we're using this while true loop to keep asking the user to guess a number. 
until they guess the correct number. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our code and take a look. Okay, so the computer is asking me to guess a number. So let's go and start with the number 3. Okay, it prints off the message, pick a bigger number. So that means I'm guessing too low. So let's go ahead and guess a higher number. Let's try 5. Okay, we still have to guess a bigger number. Let's try 8. Okay, it's still bigger than 8, so we'll try 9. And finally, once we guess the number 10, it says you guessed it. We can rerun this program now. And if I try this again, let's start with the number 10. Now number 10 is too big, so I guess smaller numbers. So it's smaller than 5. It's bigger than 2. And the number is 4. So in this video, we took a look at two different ways to use while loops. The first one was using a while loop until a certain condition was met. And the second one was a while true loop where we repeated a certain code. And then we used the break statement to break out of the loop. This is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.